fellowship. Probably we need more fellowship than what we get at the moment. Uh, we're part of a church, we're part of a small group. Uh, but fellowship in WEC is, is very different. You can't always explain that to somebody that's in the church. Uh, in India, uh, fellowship there meant that these other missionaries in India with me were family. If, if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with him and with one another, don't we? So I had to learn that, you know, there are different ways God deals with us in different ways. We, we work closely with other people and we cannot have uh, anger or uh, a, a, a friction between another person. And first thing I have to do is say, Lord, please help me. Don't judge the other person. Say, Lord, and please help me. And then if there's a problem, go to that other person and talk to them, pray with them, and humble myself. Fellowship for me has been that we've walked together, we have the same goals, we have the same purposes, we, we're walking by faith, we've made sacrifices, and that brings a certain amount of fellowship because we all love Jesus Christ. And the ultimate fellowship is, of course, with Christ and we want to walk, walk with him and serve him as best we can with one another. There's no one-man bands, no lone rangers in Christian work. We have to work as a team, and I think that was the apostolic plan in the Book of, Gospel, in the Book of Acts, and of course Jesus' plan for his church. You do things together. You know, the Bible says that where two or three gather together and agree concerning anything that shall be done, and to me, that's a fellowship of people in action. And okay, sometimes we're individuals, but I think the strength in agreement, the strength in a fellowship of people. But I know also that it's very easy for fellowship to get broken. And the devil is always out there like a roaring lion trying to bring division instead of unity and so fellowship is critical.